Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to take apart an S9. And so this is the pieces that I have after I've taken it apart. And you might have to do this because these are old machines that sometimes you need to replace a fan or a control board or a hash board. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take off the fan on the back side sitting right in front of the hash boards. And I just unplug the fan so it's not sitting there on the control board. And then you take off the grill. And you have to take off the fan and the grill in order to be able to pull the hash boards out, as well as you have to pull the hash boards out to be able to pull off the control board. And so to pull off the hash boards, I have to unplug the ribbon wires here. As you can see, they come out pretty easily. Sometimes they get stuck in there and that's kind of a massive pain to pull out. But if you're just going for the control board, you can just pull out the hash boards a quarter of the way to be able to fit that out. But yeah, these are, when you're taking out your hash boards and you're inspecting them, you want to inspect the heat sinks to make sure that none of them have fallen off. And if they had, they may catch on fire or just not work. And the last thing that you do is you take off this front fan that you'll notice will have a cover on it because the fan blades are exposed. And that cover is there is to make sure that you don't get your fingers uh, cut off. And they, they won't literally cut off your fingers, but it will hurt if you hit them. So that's what it's there for. And the easy way to remember this is when you're putting your fans back on, the fan blades will be exposed on the front there, right next to the Ethernet port and where you can access the control board. And the other side, it will be the opposite. And that is how you take apart an S9. S9 is one of my favorite machines. And if you're interested in getting one, it's a great starter for home mining. Uh, we sell them on the Kaboom Racks Telegram Marketplace, which I'll have linked below, as well as we have firmware on the Kaboom Racks website, which I'll also have linked. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments. Make sure to check out the other S9 videos on this channel. And if you want me to make any other videos on a particular topic, just throw a comment on this video and I'll respond. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.